Hi Soul Sisters, it's Elisa here from the design team. Um, just giving you a bit of a video of uh, some of the products that are available on the website today. So basically what we have here are some stencil girl stencils, gorgeous A4 size in a curl cue pattern and a bubbly sort of pattern. Um, also we're featuring on the blog this month as well, so not only are we featuring um, stencil girl stencils but we're also featuring a new product called Nuvo Embellishment Mousse. Um, I'll just let you have a look at what the consistency is like. So basically, sorry, there under the camera, uh, you can see that it is indeed very mousse-like. Uh, you can add water to it to change your consistency, um, but I like using it as more of a paste. Okay, so let's see what we can do with our stencils. Okay, we're back. Uh, so basically what we're going to do today is just go through a few different techniques using stencils and the paste. So first of all we have our what we normally use with a, a sort of a texture paste and that is just directly over the top of a piece of paste, paper with your um, uh, palette knife. Uh, there's all sorts of different palette knives, all have different uses. Here's just an example of a few. All a bit dirty, sorry about that. Um, okay, so basically I'm just smoothing it over in a like buttering the bread sort of motion, um, getting as much paste off as I can. Because once you pay money for the paste, you want to use it as sparingly as possible, unless you are doing a bit of modelling with it, and I can show you that a bit later on. So let's just have a look at how that came out. Beautiful. So once that dries, that'll be a beautiful coppery sort of brown. So that'll add texture and patterns to your page. Um, also what we can do, um, which is a great technique that I came across and I love, um, is acetate. As you can see I've already done one on here. Is Basically I've got a stencil and I'll use an example here. This one's a crafter's workshop stencil by the name of Emma and it's available in the store. Um, basically what we're going to do is uh, pop it over the top of acetate, undo our mousse and do exactly the same as what we did with it on paper. So using it in a buttering motion, smooth it on. Now I haven't got a very large piece of acetate here, but I just wanted to show you the technique. Okay, so let's have a look at that. Pull that off. So basically, what we've done is just made our own embellishment for a page or for a tag. Now I know it's only half a face, but you get the idea. Basically, what I would do now is wait for that to dry completely and I leave mine overnight. I do not use a heat gun on the acetate unless I know it's a special heat resistant acetate. Um, this one is not so I don't want you to see me explode my heat gun. Um, so this one here is dry. I put it through a um, starfish stencil and waited for it to dry and now I'm able to cut that out and use that on a page as an embellishment or um, I've used it for mixed media tags or you can put it onto a canvas. Um, the same with the girl. I can use that now on an art journal page um, once she's fully dried and I can cut it out. Okay, so we have some more techniques. So we'll go back to the paper again. Um, basically, uh, now you can use a spray pick one up here. Okay, I'm using a colour blast spray, but so you can use a spray through your stencil to get your pattern. As you can see, there's your pattern. But another good technique is while you've got it all wet, just to spray it again. Um, and you, then you can use the 
other side of it as well. Now you can use a brayer or um, a baby wipe just to smooth that out. And if you lift it up, you get a different sort of pattern. Okay, so that's another technique using your stencils. Alright, so basically um, we've gone through a few techniques. Another one that I like to use uh, is using, uh, here's a spare piece of paper, you just pop that on there and you just get a black marker and you trace around your images onto your page. Um, you can also use a baby wipe to smooth um, uh, crayons, like distress crayons through your stencil. Um, also uh, the art crayons that are new to store as well. There we go. So you can get a bit of a pattern on there. You can use your baby wipe to create like a bleaching effect as well. So if you're using a watercolour underneath, which I have here, some Distress Stain ink pads, you can put your stencil over the top and just give it a bit of rub over where the colour is while it's still wet and you can take away some of the colour and you'll have like a bleaching effect. Okay, so we've gone through a couple of techniques with your stencil already. Um, let's move on to some paste. Uh, another fantastic technique that I've found with paste um, is if you've got any old silicon moulds hanging around your house. Um, these ones are used in cake decorating. They're very thin, so they don't take as long to dry. So another one I've found with paste. So you just get a bit of paste going there. You can even mix it to make it a bit smoother. And what we're going to do, and you can see here that I've already used one with um, pink paste. So we're just going to smooth the paste through our mould. Now, I can't um, show you the end product of this because this might take a little while to dry, but I can show you the end product of me doing this with modelling paste. Here we go. So nice and smooth. Get as much as your paste off as you can. Make it nice and thin. You leave that overnight to dry. You can see, I'll bring it closer to the camera. Like that. Leave that overnight to dry and then you just slowly inch it out of your mould. Now I'll just leave that there and I'll grab a example of some modelling paste ones that I've done with some of my moulds. So here's a nice doily sort of pattern and these are feathers. Now you can colour these, these are all made with just white modelling paste but you can use black. There we go. So these came out of um, moulds used for cake decorating. Um, you can also use um, any type of silicon moulds as long as they're not too deep because they take way too long to dry um, and I found that um, they don't dry and they just crumble in there. So if you can see that you can actually use that on um, glue them to canvases, to your page, to your um, art journal pages, to cards, to anything. You can colour them with sprays as you can see here. There we go. Um, so that'll dry a nice pinky colour. Uh, really, really good. So that's just another way of using your paste. Now, I haven't used the Nouveau paste before, so when that dries, I'll be able to give you a bit of an update of how it turned out. I did, have, however, have done it with Colour Blast texture paste before, and using this mould, and once it dried, I popped it out, and you can actually glue it to a window. It actually stays sticky to a window. So you can make um, window decals or anything like that. Okay, so another way of using paste, we'll just move those out of the way. Is actually using it what it's intended for, which is modeling. 
So basically you just get a hunk onto your page and I'm sure that there are much better people out there than me at this. I haven't had much practice at this but you can shape it into shapes. There we go. Um, let's just call that a start of a flower and then you can use a stamp, a texture stamp and you can stamp directly into the paste and that will leave a little bit of an impression as well. If you've got different texture pastes the only thing there I would do is immediately clean your stamp after. You can use a stamp cleaner. I like to use baby wipes. I find that they're really um, good on your stamps. There we go. So I have seen um, friends of mine, um, Michelle Logan actually did a perfect um, art journal page once with using modeling paste and smoothing her paste around and making um, flowers out of texture. So obviously I am not that great at it. I uh, haven't got that much practice at it yet, but that's just another technique that you can use. Um, and that's about it for me today. You can also use it as a background paint. As you can see, I've scraped most of it off and it's left a nice sheen on my page. So you can get like an old credit card and smooth it down your page. Like that. Um, you can also then mold on top of it, give yourself some texture. You can stamp into it like I did before. All sorts of things. Highly recommend this paste. It's got great sheen, it's got great texture to it. Um, you can water it down if you don't like the thicker consistency of it. It is not a creamy paste like a color blast paste it is sort of like a mousse um, but it is got a harder texture to it as well so you can water it down a little bit but I liked actually just how creamy it went through your stencil and onto your page and as you can see it stencils perfectly all right thank you for listening guys hope you got something out of that um, and don't forget this nouveau paste or I should say Nouveau Embellishment Mousse, comes in the most fantastic colours at the shop, um, selling now um, beautiful greens, blues, pinks, you name it. Um, I got like a cosmic brown, which is like a beautiful dark copper brown, like a leather colour, um, great for all those sort of heritage pages or um, steampunk pages. Anyway, I'll give you a bit of an update as to how we go with our mold and uh, see how our paste comes up in the mold tomorrow. Thanks guys. Bye.